big secret, Deke. Iron Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Ripples. No bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. Half that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great. So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up in Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit, maybe hasn't slept in days, reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop. Addie, what's going on? Loser. <clears throat> Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? What listen, are you doing? Listen, we Not need to do arm. this, and we need to do this right you now. What? No. Don't you? F oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it? No, no. De no, you're not. No way. No, you're not going to do this. Deacon, listen to me. The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is going to save the arm. Now, listen. I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. We're losing him. Wait. Deacon. All right. All right. All right. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deacon. Deacon. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Oh, my goodness. I can't ah! believe him. No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the door. No! Oh! Oh, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him! Okay, pal, where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him like this. Stop panicking I'm and I'm trying! Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> and you? Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what? I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know. But it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Addy. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <clears throat> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Who's there gonna live? I don't know. The Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself. You are writing checks with other men's blood. 
I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. Hey, man. This thing. Hey, how's it going? No idea how to fix this. Shit, you really need a lot of fuel. Open it up. He's okay. Can I help you? Oh, oh you're out of gas. Come back soon. Bye. What do you want? Deke, we got a problem. Yeah, Tuck, what's up? You remember Alkai said that rippers were spotted. Heading our way? Yeah, I remember. He said he didn't try to stop them. Well, we've seen him scouting the hot springs. A couple of men followed him back to their camp, in the cliffs south of the Twin Craters. Goddamn rivers. Don't worry about it, I'll take care of them. I got a score to settle. A score? What are you talking about? God, ne never mind. You here for your bike? Hey, how's it going? Hold on, I'll get it. Yeah, not bad.
Hey, me again. So, uh, I took Boozer into the Lost Lake camp, and I know, <laughs> I know, I told you I was never going back there with Iron Mike threatening to break my neck and all, but didn't have a choice. See, Boozer, Boozer was gonna die, and, uh, well, he still didn't want to go. Hell, I didn't want to go, but, like I said, didn't have a choice. Neither of us did, so it didn't matter. He, um, he lost the arm anyway, and... And now he's stuck. I mean, we're stuck. Goddamn schizo. You know, I can't remember if I told you about this clown, but he's the kind of asshole that's glad all this shit went down. <laughs> he says he was uh, gangbanging in Sacramento and Fresno. I don't remember, but he says he's not from around here, and he's, he's not. Claims he was dealing drugs and guns from California to Oregon, and then everything went to hell. And you know what? I think he's full of shit. To me, he kind of looks like a frat boy, like he was on the lacrosse team peddling sodas at a mini mart. Or no, 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 man, he would have <laughs> he would have had a cushy job at his old man's accounting firm, making copies and getting everyone their morning coffee. You know, making more in a day than I've ever made in a week. You know, it's this game the boozer and I used to play before we rode out of Lost Lake for good. We used to call it uh, "Who You Were." You know, we'd look at someone, we'd try to guess who they were before the shit went down, you know. You know, I met a few drug addicts, a lot of ex-cons, uh, no accountants. So, that makes sense if you think about it. First couple of weeks after the shit went down, I mean, Jesus, that was a freak show. There's no way some accountant or pencil pusher lived through that shit, so I don't know, maybe because I was telling the truth. <sighs> I'm not sorry that you missed it. I'm not. Anyway, Boozer and I wanted to head north and get away from all this shit, but that, that ain't happening anytime soon, or, or happening ever. Uh, hey, <laughs> look on the bright side. Looks like you're uh, stuck with me. Okay, I'll stop by later. See you. Okay. this. Addy, you there? Deke and St. John to Lost Lake Infirmary. Come back. Deke! Hey. Uh, I'm feeling a little loud, you know. You okay? What's going on? Who's? Hey. Uh, nothing. I, uh... <laughs> I'm tired of listening to the Radio Free Oregon. It only takes so much of this. Truth or bullshit. Jack carved up that turkey last time we was all together. I kept slipping all over the guy. 
that damn table? Yeah, booze, man. I remember. I still feel it, you know. Knife. Worse than the rippers. If, if you hadn't been there to pull me down. Well, it's done, boozer. It's done. It's over. Sorry, I'm feeling uh, Hey, Addie's gonna kill me if she finds out you're at a bad fucking around. Yeah, I... And you're a bomb girl. Call my name. Lost Lake Simon. Hey, listen, Boozer. Something, man. You know, you Yo, you need a refuel? I'll refuel you nice and good. All right, see you, D. Hey, what's going on? I got it. St. John, I got a job for you. Hope. You want Manny to work on your bike? Only one way that's gonna happen. I gotta do runs for you. Yeah, I heard you. I need you to deal with a marauder camp near those burned-out shacks along the Cascade Highway. You know where I'm talking about? Yeah, I know it. Radio me if you want to know more. Deacon. What's up? Just looking for some stuff. Hey, Ricky, you said you had a job for me? Hey, Deke. Yeah. You remember Shane Riley? Everyone called him Red? Red Riley. Yeah, never heard of him, but let me guess. Ginger? But red hair? No. It was his boots. He wore these rattlesnake boots dyed with god-awful red color. He made quite the impression. <laughs> no, I bet. Anyway, he used to do runs for us back in the day until one day he decides he didn't like the camp credits we were paying. So he up and kills Lindsay Fuller. Who? Lindsay. Worked supply before Blair. Wait a second, so he killed an unarmed woman? Oh, she was armed. She just wasn't expecting him to shoot her in the face. Will you listen? So Red murders her, cleans out her supply hut, and then takes off before anyone knows what's happened. Got away clean. Oh, that son of a bitch. Until now. He and his men have been spotted up at Camp Pioneer. You don't gotta ask. I, uh, you got My this thing about... Used to collect tools the way about I killing unarmed women. Shoes. I know. So I knew you'd want to handle it. Yeah, like I said, I got this covered. Um, what else can you tell me about him? Not much. Oh, wait. He chews tobacco. I heard he was such an addict that he rounds up cigarette butts, takes out the tobacco, and chews that. Well, that's disgusting. So now I got two reasons to kill him. Yeah, but be careful, Deke. You need something? Having a look. Is that okay? Looking for anything in particular? All right, I got you. Later.
Ricky. I'm a camp pioneer, and it is a goddamn war zone. What's going on? Are any of our guys there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Sounds like they're clearing freaks. Uh, don't worry. I'll find this guy. Deacon out. <laughs> 